Okay, folks, in this video, I want to show you how to create a loop. Now, before we begin, I want to mention just how important loops are. So, one of the most common uses for computers is to do very fast repetition. So, computers are very useful to humans because with computers, we can do very boring and repetitive tasks in very little time. Right? For example, a computer can count the number of attendants in a Zoom meeting very quickly. We don't have to count them one by one or asking them you know, to raise their hands or write their names uh, in a uh, piece of paper. We don't need any of that because computers do things that are repetitive very quickly. Um, the way that computers do things in repetition in programming is called a loop and in this video I want to show you how to create a loop in JavaScript so let's create the simplest loop a loop that counts from 0 to 9 okay for that we're gonna create a variable I'm gonna call the index and I'm gonna assign the value of 0 and then I'm going to use a new command that we haven't seen before, which is while, right? And I'm going to say while i is smaller than 10, let's console.log the value of i. And after that, let's add one to i. Now, I will explain this to you later, but first let's just, let's just see what happens. As you can see, we start with i equals to 0, right? And we just output the value of 0. And then after that, we can see the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, until the number 9, right? And the explanation to why this happens is because the while loop checks to see if i is smaller than 10 at first. This works kind of like an if then else statement this this is like an if statement so the while loop checks if i is smaller than 10 then let's execute this piece of code just like with the if but while is a special because what while is going to do is it's going to execute this piece of code and after it's done with a piece of code it's going to go back and it's going to check again if i is still smaller than 10 and if it's still more, smaller than 10, it's going to run the piece of code again. And then it's going to go back to the beginning and it's going to check again if i is still more, smaller than 10. Now, as you can see in this line, in line number 5, we're incrementing the value of i every time this piece of code runs. Right? So this is why our while loop stops at one point. Notice what happens if I grow this number. If instead of 10, I use 18, we get more repetitions. We get more iterations, as it's called in programming, right? If I make this number smaller, we get less, right? Because it's stopping sooner because of the increments. Now. Notice what happens if I change the initial value of i. If I change this to 3, look what happens with the first number. Instead of starting at 0, we start at 3, right? So we can play around with these two numbers, and that will give us different ranges for our loop, right? Also, notice what happens if I move this instruction from the end of the loop. I'm going to cut it from here. I'm going to paste it up here. Notice that we had 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 before. And now notice what happens if I run this. It's going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So because we move this before the console log, we see the number after it's incremented, right? So these are some ways that you can play around with a while. Uh, in the next video, we're going to look at a different kind of loop that is very similar to while, but it's easier to manage.